should take maybe like 24 hours to dry. And the reason why you want them to dry is because the emulsion is still kind of slightly sticky and the tape won't stick to it. And if you roll it up in a roll, then the emulsion will stick to the base, will stick to the emulsion, will stick to the base, and it won't project. Well, it'll jam. Sometimes I'll take film that I've, like, I guess pre-manipulated, then re-manipulate it. It's something that I didn't start doing until I started working on my conceptual piece. Sunlight reflecting off of water as it runs through the forest. And basically I just, um, I took a whole bunch of, I guess it was like the heads or tails of some color reel or something like that so it still has um, it still has all of the emulsion on it but it's got no image so it was not struck by light in the camera uh, prior to processing and it's blank and I scratched it with either a knife or scissors or sandpaper or something like that and then I did the bleaching and salt process that I did on some of these things. A friend of mine told me about uh, using salt as a corrosive agent for film. I decided to try that. And just, I really got a lot of different patterns um, with the different kinds of salts that I used. The salt that I was using today was um, kosher sea salt. Some are more crystalline, some are more just, they just kind of blanket it and change the chemical process a little bit. figure out where I'm going to start. You just put them all on the light table and then you can see basically everything and start picking through. This is just scratching and then this is um, nail polish. And then I have some where I softened up the emulsion with really hot salt water. And then I mashed glitter into it as much as possible. Ooh, this is some, some more salted stuff. Doesn't that look neat? And then this is just scratched. I've mostly been doing um, a technique that's just long extended scratches and because the razor blade catches on every single perforation it stutters and so it creates this almost like fishbone sort of pattern or herringbone pattern at least that that's what I think it looks like Sometimes I scratch words or letters. It's real easy. There's a bunch of different things that you can use. Uh, I like to use Sharpie pens because they come in a large variety of colors. 
uh, some metallic, some non-metallic, small, very fine points or like fairly large ones. Uh, if you're doing 16 millimeter and you're doing frame by frame animation, I would recommend the fine point because it's a lot easier. I did this with a fine point. Maybe an ultra fine point would have been better. Um, I would have gotten more detailed. In one film, I have a section just maybe about, oh, I don't know, 15 feet, 20 feet, something like that. And it's just clear leader because I didn't know what I was going to do with it. I just was using the clear leader as slug. And I just decided that I was going to do... Uh, red green splotches alternating like really fast like red green red green red green red mm -hmm. green so I use sharpie pens to to do that um, nail polish also works because I like the contrast of like a really bright saturated jewel tone with the black and white I'm gonna use dark blue this is fortunate that the sections I'm coloring in are large and fairly easy to see. I was doing this on something where the dots were very tiny. And the thing is, is that with all of this stuff, it runs 24 frames a second. So 15 feet is 30 seconds. This is maybe a sec, this is maybe just over a second. When I make these film pieces, I work all the way out to the edge, which that's not even projected, but it's the entire piece of film that is the whole work of art. And then the projected stuff is just cake, I think.